What's up, internet? Welcome to the weekly vlog. It's Monday night. Just doing some cleaning, getting some stuff out to the shed. It's supposed to be getting a pretty bad snowstorm tomorrow. So, see some of that this week, no doubt. Probably not going to be going to work tomorrow because of that. So, it's perfect that we just got the blinking light win in the mail. So, hopefully, we can get that installed, working, and we'll be playing a lot of Nintendo games tomorrow. <laughs> So, obviously, you can see we had our snowstorm, and I'm mad about it. So mad that this morning, after we were done shoveling snow, and I thought I had actually gotten frostbite in my fingers, I was out breaking up the neighborhood, screaming at the top of my lungs. I was sick of the bullshit. I legitimately was like fucking done with snow. I was going off. Alicia had her phone and recorded it. Probably would have been on like, I don't know, like Facebook trending, something like that. Absolutely ridiculous. I was so pissed. But as we can see, I have all my fingers, which is good. And we're going home. Yeah, so when it comes to snow, 100% done with that shit. Like, I think from now on, and I understand to some people this is gonna sound like some lazy motherfucker bullshit. Probably gonna hire somebody to fucking clean, clean out our driveway. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Like, fucking, the last guy we were gonna hire for it that ended up not showing up, it was only gonna cost like $30 for him to clean out the driveway. That is nothing compared to all the bullshit back pain and potential loss of extremities <laughs> that I was dealing with this morning. And especially the last snowstorm too. Like this, this morning was different because it had rained last night. So the snow was really heavy. Last snowstorm, we overestimated it because the rain was really light and fluffy, but there was just so fucking much of it. And this time it was almost just as much, almost just as much, which is a weird way to phrase that, but we're rolling with it. And it was fucking heavy at the end of the driveway. We almost broke fucking shovels trying to get out of the fucking driveway. I'm sick of this shit. We're sitting in traffic this morning. Uh, definitely going to be late for work. Got seven minutes to go and we're not going anywhere fast. Um, falling asleep, of course. So, got my coffee. I'm sipping that. But I figured, why not talk to you guys? A few things that are on my mind this morning. Got game night tonight. Um... I don't know if the group is overpowered, but I've noticed that the challenge ratings they put in the monster manuals don't really make sense for a lot of the monsters. Like, very specifically, like, they would fight a challenge rating 8, and they'd make short work of him. Like, one of the characters probably could have soloed him, and then they fight a challenge rating 7, and they have some struggles with it. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, so. Not to be 
a bit more mindful of what challenge rating and what monsters' abilities are when they're fight when they're facing them because it's kind of weird um, how that just doesn't match up like it should. Another thing I've been thinking about, like still in the brainstorming phases for uh, the new intro that I'm going to do for Weekend Adventure. It's one of those things where I feel like the last intro I did is actually not as good as some of the intros I've had before that. So I'm hoping that with this new editing software and the thought I'm putting into this and hopefully the production I'm able to put into this, it will be better than all the intros I've made. I mean, I still have a few weeks to work on it, but I might be you know, posting that intro up separately for you guys to view beforehand. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you think I should post that up uh, separately so you guys can get a sneak peek at it or if I should... Actually, I might end up, when I do get it ready, I might actually put it at the end of like one of the weekly vlogs for all the Inner Circle members because, you know, have that be a little a little extra something for everybody that watches the weekly vlogs because not, not a lot of people do. You figure you got like almost 1,400 subscribers and I get about 100 views on the weekly vlogs. So you guys really are the Inner Circle of the people that care about this channel. Um, you're obviously not seeing any pickups in these videos, which is what most people are here for. So, but speaking of pickups, I'm actually working out an offer up deal. I know, what the fuck? Offer up deal. It's one of those deals, though, where it's like I could take it or leave it. So, if this guy likes trying to fuck around with this, not really be serious about it, like I'm trying to get two lots he has one has 13 nes games unfortunately i'm at the point with my nes collection where it's very hard to find games i actually need so that is mostly just a recouper but he does also have a game boy lot i'm actually interested in the game boy i think it's a game boy pocket he has i just don't really ever come across game boy pockets you always see game boy colors original game boys game boy pocket is kind of like that middle ground where you just don't see them very often and I had one as a kid but after I got rid of mine that I had as a kid I just don't see it at all and it's uh, it's a blue one looks pretty cool might actually hold on to that for a little while but the way the deal is working out basically every item in the deal is going to be about three dollars which is not bad because there's a Zelda game involved for the NES I think it's the second one and three dollars an item isn't bad even even for you know, filler NES titles, so, trying to get that worked out after work, and you'll probably see that before you see this vlog, honestly, it might have been what I posted yesterday, who knows, but we're finally starting to pick up a little bit here. Hey guys, it's Friday night, heading into Stop and Shop, get some breakfast items for tomorrow morning. Alright, I just thought for a second the door wasn't going to open for me some bacon and eggs so we are out of both we should actually stop it now she actually just interrupted that clip to ask for some bark root beer too so my shopping list grows definitely not gonna get home before she does you know these lobsters fight they're square on I just thought that was weird. You don't see lobsters squaring off in the tank like that. It's <sighs> been a while since I've gotten bacon here. Been going to BJ's, getting better bacon. Or at least bacon I like a lot better. Fuck. Just get some Oscar Mayer. Can't go around with that, right? naturally hardwood smoked bacon. Probably should get a cart. I'm supposed to get a bottle of... Yeah, I don't have enough hands for this. I'm not going to be able to vlog everything, but just wanted to say goodbye for the week, I guess. Um, I think I've had a few vlogs now and a few videos 
that just like kind of abruptly end because I never filmed a, uh, a sign off clip or whatever. So didn't want to forget it yet again. So hope you guys are having a great week or had a great week. By the time you see this, your weekend's almost over, but we'll have another one. So like the video, subscribe if you're new, get bacon in your life. And as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys. Don't pass the barks. I can't find the barks.